7th graders, welcome to Chapter 2, Lesson 6 video. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about sales tax, tips, and markups. So we're going to be talking about increasing the price of something based on a tax, a tip, so if you go to a restaurant when you're tipping a waiter or waitress, and markups. Our objective today is to actually solve problems that involve financial literacy. So these are things that you can actually use later on in life. So we're going to solve problems that involve taxes. We're going to solve problems that involve tip. So tipping a waiter, tipping a waiter, uh, waitress, or tipping somebody that comes and delivers your pizza for you. And markups, when the price of something goes up. The standards we're going to be addressing is seventh grade ratios and proportions, standard number three, equivalent expressions, standard two, and standard three. We're going to go ahead and jump right into our first example and talk about how we solve these problems. So let's see our first example. In example one, we're going to be solving this word problem here. It says Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140. There's a sales tax that's 5.75%. What is the total cost of an equipment? So what we're going to try to think about is we're going to pay a certain price for this item. And we have to figure out what that price is. Now, we do know we're going to pay $140. Now, $140 equals 100% of the cost. So we know $140 is 100%. Well, our job is to figure out what 5% of tax is going to be and add that to the total because a tax is something that's additional to the cost that you're paying. So when you go to a store like Walmart or you go to a store like Kmart or Meyer or Kroger and you buy something, sometimes you have to pay something called a sales tax. A sales tax is a tax that goes to the company or goes to whoever is marketing this for paying the tariffs and all these different things. So you pay taxes and that is going to be added to the cost. So if something costs $140 and there's a sales tax on it, chances are it's not actually going to cost $140. It's going to cost something a little bit more. Our job is to figure out that. Now, we know that $140 is equal to 100% of the cost. Now, sales tax is something that's additional. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add 5.75% to this cost. We don't know what 5.75% of the cost is, but we could figure that out. We got a calculator. What you could do, if you really want to, is you could add these together. 100 plus 5.75% is 105.75%. So we're going to figure out what this price is we're going to change it to a decimal, and then we're going to multiply it by 140, and that's our new price. So if we want to know what 5% additional is, all we got to do is add the tax to the 100% price. We have our new percentage. Now, since it's a percent, what we can do is we can divide this by 100. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my calculator. 105.75 divided by 100. And if I type that in, I get 1.0575. So, 105 and 75 hundredths of a percent is actually equal to the decimal, 1.0575. Now, all we have to do if we want to figure out this total price is we take our percent as a decimal and we times it by the original price. And the original price is $140. So I'm going to type that in my calculator. 1.0575 times 140. And I get that my total price is $148.05. So what this is telling me is that 5.75% is $8.05 more. So what I would do is I would add that percent to my cost. So I'm actually going to type this percent, 5.75. I'm going to divide it by 100 to change it to a decimal, multiply it by that by 140, and I get 8.05. And if I add those, I get 148 and 5 cents. So this is just kind of reaffirming that 
if we have a tip or tax, all we have to do is add that percent of tip or tax to 100%. We take that percent, we divide it by 100, that changes it to a decimal. We take our decimal, multiply it by the number, and that gives us our new total price. So 105% or 105.75% as a decimal is this right here. We take that decimal times the original price, get our new total. And that's how we find out taxes. So we're going to solve another problem similar to this, but this time it's going to be a little bit less explanation. We're just going to figure out 100% of the price. We're going to add the tax, and then we're going to take that decimal and multiply it by our total and get our new amount. In example two, we're looking at a limited edition soccer ball. It costs $30, but we have a tax of 6%. So what we're going to do is kind of approach it in the same manner. We know that $30 is equal to 100%. Since it's a tax, we're going to add that percentage on to 100. So it's a tax of 6%. So we're going to add 6%. Well, 100% plus 6% is equal to 106%. So this is the percent that we're going to have to pay. If it costs 100% of the price, we're going to have to pay an additional 6% in tax. So 106% is the percent we're going to pay. Since it's a percent, we're going to go ahead and divide this by 100, or it's like moving the decimal two spots to the left. 106 divided by 100 is 1.06. This is what 106% looks like as a decimal. Once we have it as a decimal, all we got to do is take our percent as a decimal and times it by the total. So 1.06 times 30, and we get our new price is $31.8 is what my calculator says. Now, if there's just an 8 here, what we want to do is we want to put a 0 here. And that's because money goes to two decimal places. So it's always important to show one number behind the decimal as well as another. So the price is $31.80 if the ball originally cost $30, and I'm going to pay 6% tax. That's it for this example. Let's go ahead and do another. In example three, we're going to talk about going to a restaurant and ordering a meal. Now, typically at the end of a, you, a meal at a restaurant, a lot of people like to give tips. Now, a tip is something that's added on to the cost of what you're paying. Now, usually that tip goes to the waiter or waitresses that served you, or it even can go into the back and the people that actually made your food. So it's always important that if you're at a restaurant and you get really good service, you want to tip those employees because they work hard for that. And they don't always necessarily get minimum wage. So it's always good to tip them. Now, 15% is the general rule of thumb when you're tipping somebody that works at a restaurant. Now, if it's really good service, 25% is a great tip. Um, you can tip any percentage that you want. There's no obligation when tipping an employee, but 15% is normally the standard. So the restaurant bill, it's $35. We're going to tip 15%. So we need to know what the total cost of our bill is going to be. So what we would do is we would take $35, which is equal to 100% of the bill. We would add our 15% tip which means that we're really paying 115%. If you remember, we can change this number to a decimal by actually moving the decimal two spots to the left, or we can actually really take this number here, 115, and divide it by 100, and that'll change it to a percent for us as well as a decimal. Well, 115 divided by 100 is 1.15. This represents 115% as a decimal. Once we have our price of our bill as a percentage, what we need to do is we need to take this percentage and multiply it by the actual price. So 1.15 times 35 means that our bill is going to equal $40.25. So if you think about it, 35 plus $5.25 equals $4 or $40.25, so they're getting a $5.25 tip. So they're making an additional $5 for the price of the bill. And this is how we solve it. So again, kind of like whenever doing a tax, we add the tip to the 100% cost. And that's one of the easier ways to go about solving this. So hopefully you guys are getting this. In example four, we're gonna look at something even more real life examples. 
So in this example, we're going to talk about getting a haircut that costs $20, but it has a 4.75% tax. Now, you only have $25, and so our question is, is $25 enough to cover the haircut with the tax, as well as tip the person that gave you a haircut, because they gave you an awesome haircut, like mine. So, we're going to try to figure this out. Now, the haircut costs $20. So, $20, we know, is equal to 100%. Now, not only are we going to pay $20 for the haircut, but we're going to add 4.5%. Now, 4.75%, that's our tax, and we know it's added. Now, we also want to add something else to the bill besides the, ha the haircut, the tax, we also want to add the tip. So we're going to add 15%, which is our tip. So we're going to add the percentages up. We have 100% plus 4.75% plus 15% is actually 119.75%. So we want to figure out if this percentage of this bill, if we're going to have enough money if we had $25. So we're going to take this amount, divide it by 100, and we're going to get 1.1975. We're going to take that percent, 1.1975, and we're going to times it by 20. And when we times this by 20, and I typed it in my calculator, I get $23.95. So what that tells me is that if I were to pay the tax and tip the hair, the salon stylist 15%, I would be able to pay for it with the $25 I have in my pocket. So what we did was we added the tax, we added the tip to our percentage, we changed our percent to a decimal, we took our decimal, multiplied it by the actual price, and figured out our total. In example five, the last thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about markups. We've talked about taxes. We've talked about tips. A tax is something that's additional to the cost, so we add it to 100% of the cost. A tip is something that's also additional to the cost. So again, we add it to 100% of the cost. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about, which is again, adding to 100% of the cost is markups. A lot of your retailers around you probably do this all the time. They talk to manufacturers that make different products and what they do is they buy a huge amount in bulk and then they raise the prices of those by a certain percentage so that way they're developing a little bit of a profit and can pay their employees as well as put different items on the shelf in many different seasons and such forth. So. In example 5, it says a store pays $56 for a GPS navigation system. So they're paying $56 for a navigation system, but they're going to mark up the price by 25%. So our job is to figure out the selling price. What are they actually asking on the shelf for this price? Now, this is great. If you're ever thinking about doing a business, you talk to other manufacturers, you bring in a bunch of items, and then you raise the prices by a small percentage so you can make some extra money on that too. So, we know that $56 is equal to 100% of the price. They're going to mark up the price by 25%. So, we're going to add 25% to the price. Well, if it's 100% and we're adding 25%, we're really paying 125%. Well, if I take 125 divided by 100, that changes it to a decimal, which is 1. 0.25 and now all we got to do is take our decimal and multiply that by our purchase price and that would get our new selling price so 1.25 times $56 equals $70 so if you know a lot about math what they're doing is they're charging an extra $14 for this item that's 14 more dollars in their pocket for something they only paid $56 for. That's great for business because that could pay somebody's wages. Or it could put items on the shelf. And if you're the owner, put a little bit extra money in your pocket. 
So in today's lesson, what we focused on was the ability to understand how to add a tax, add a tip, or add a markup. There's one other piece that I really didn't talk about in this lesson, and that's actually, let's say we didn't want to know the total, but we actually want to know what the markup is, or what the uh, tip is, or what the tax is. And if we ever just want to figure out that piece, the last thing we would do, instead of doing this, what we would do, say our price is $56, and we want to mark up the price by 25%, and we just need to know what 25% is, all we got to do is say $56, and we're going to multiply it by the percent as a decimal. So all we have to do is take this percent, 25, divide, divide it by 100, and we get 0 0.25. So we're going to multiply this by 0 0.25 because that represents 25% as our tax, our, our markup in this case. So I'm going to type 0.25 times 56, and I get $14 is my markup. So you don't always have to add to 100% to get your total price. We know that $14 is 25% of 56. So this is how much the price is going to go up by. If we wanted to figure out the total, we could take our markup price and just add it to the original amount. 14 plus 56 equals $70, which is our selling price. So sometimes if you just want to know what the markup is, all you got to do is take your percent and times it by the whole. But if you want to figure out the total, it's best to add to 100%, change 100%, change that percentage to a decimal and multiply by a number. That's it for today's lesson. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully it's not too long for you and you guys did awesome and I will see you on Thursday. Wednesday. That's what I mean.